Hello, this is David Sheston with ASUG headquarters, now part of uh, the Influence Group. And I'm here with Marco Dorn with uh, SAP. He's a product manager, uh, worked with ASUG for about uh, seven years now. Yeah. And here we have some very important people with us. <laughs> Simon Toe, he's worked with the uh, SAP Business Objects uh, for 10 years. Yes. You uh, work with Fossil as your employer. Yes. And uh, you are also the ASUG Business Object Strategic SIG Chair. Yes. Thank you for that. Uh, Julian Davat, he started with uh, SAP uh, as a developer, is now a consultant, and uh, bridges customers and SAP Solution Manager. That's right. <laughs> and we have Greg Myers here, who is 14 years experience <laughs> <laughs> with the SAP <coughs> Business Objects Architecture. So, welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so um, what we would like to talk about is a program driven by SAP, which is called the Customer Engagement Initiative. And it's basically SAP-driven focus topics where we want to get ASAC members involved as early as possible in the whole development cycle of future releases. And that's where you all contributed. And the, the exciting part about the Customer Engagement Initiative is it's influencing the products before they're even released. Yeah. Oh. Simon, how did you find out about the Customer Engagement Initiative? Yeah, um, so it was uh, Kristen Scheffler with SAP. So she contacted me to ask me to participate in this program, um, mainly because of my involvement in, uh, with ASAP. And what, uh, what was it all about? Well, now, so there's a multiple way to influence SAP, right? Like the ASAP Influence Council is one way. Now, this customer uh, engagement initiative is another way to influence SAP. And th the way I look at it, this is the way to extend your uh, support dollar. So if uh, SAP, they love to, they want to listen to the customer, so I think that every SAP customer should participate in this wonderful program. Mm -hmm. And um, so how did you get in to the program? Oh, you just go and sign up for that. No. Okay. Okay. So the convenient, the SAP website. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, through the registration page that is sent out through ASAC, for example, to the members. Right. Yeah. Yes. So, um, uh, Greg, how much um, effort was this for you? Like, how much time investment is this for you? Um? Uh, as far as actual time, it wasn't a lot. I mean, it, of course, we made it made it very convenient to time shift if you needed to. So all of the calls were recorded. If I need, if I couldn't make a call live, I could always go back and listen to it on, um, you know, on the playback. There was a um, stream work activity that was associated with it as well. So a lot of our work was done, you know, when when we had time to do that. But overall, may, maybe about two two hours or so a week, mm -hmm. and when it was really active, usually less. But you know, for something like this, this particular. Um, engagement initiative was around the redesign of the support portal, which is something that I use all the time. So I was really interested to spend <laughs> time and to give good quality <laughs> feedback because, you know, it's only going to improve the product. So. Yeah. Okay. And how did they, uh, why, did they, why did you get involved in this group or did they, they reach <laughs> out to you? This is a trick question, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I work with SAP support very closely a lot. Um, I, I work with operational systems. I work with supporting customers and, and helping them interface with support. So I'm on the support portal constantly. And at, I don't remember exactly what it was. There was a problem <laughs> that happened. And uh, there was a rather terse blog post that I wrote that got a lot of attention. <laughs> it went across a few desks. And well, it ended up being a positive thing because then we started having more conversations. Right. Well, we know this is broken. How can we fix this? So mm -hmm. I was recruited because I was vocal. Right. That's, that's, great. that's great. Okay. And then, and what, um, like, some what activities did you have in this particular project? Like, I mean, was engagement purely virtual, or did you as well meet face to face? Simon. Simon. Yeah. <laughs> well, right now we w what we have done is uh, mostly this conference call that mm -hmm. we have. So it's um, um, we can also do some face to face too, but because of everybody at a different location, so it's more you know, easier to talk to people with a conference call and a WebEx type of a... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And from an effort perspective, would you um, agree what Greg just said? Like, um, how much time did you spend in the project? Well, now let me, let me put a little different perspective on it, right? <laughs> so, um, I'm very big into uh, Boy Scout. So, <laughs> when I was recruited to be a volunteer in Boy Scout, 
you know, they, they were telling us that, you know, oh, it's only an hour a week. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now that, that is probably the, the biggest inside the joke <laughs> among the Boy Scout community that, you know, actually take more than a, an hour a week to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, but we are all okay with that because it is for a greater good. Yeah. So the way I look at it, so the, the result is a directly proportion to the amount of time and effort that you put into it, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. So if this is so important to the customer and to the user community, shouldn't we put some time and effort into that? So I think we should do mm -hmm. that. So I don't have problem with whatever time they ask me to do that. So okay, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Julian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling left out in the middle, yeah, right? It's my turn now. <laughs> So you you brought you came in as an associate and a partner with SAP and uh, why what did you see what are you seeing as the benefits? Well, I I have a, a little background as well, which because sure. I was a developer, uh, at SAP developers try to get out the, the best software and and the key reward is people using it. Right. You may have the best software if nobody's using it. Can't you, that's a failure, right? So mm -hmm. the goal is to start a discussion as early as possible so that. Well, your product is not only technologically good, but it's also going to be useful. So, because I was a developer, I, I, I know that it's very hard to, uh, to do that. So I came to the, to the Influence Council with that perspective in mind and in trying to bridge between the users and especially the, the, the controlling community is, is, is not used to that new features and, and new uh, applications. And then the developers were actually all around the world and, and may not know all the different industries that are uh, impacted by any controlling uh, application out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember our first phone call actually and, and uh, you were very excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we <laughs> you, were, you, were, you, were, you were reaching out to a number of customers. Yeah, so because, so in theory the, the customer engagement initiative is reserved for uh, customers, right? Customer engagement. Right. But um, as a consultant, uh, I had the chance to go out and meet, so I'm kind of a catalyst. And, and, and some of the customers say, well, you know that application you're presenting, is, it's only 80% good. Mm -hmm. I'm missing this and I'm missing that, or it's not a, applicable to my particular case because I'm special. So I say, well, why not take this opportunity to now influence SAP to go in the right direction? Right. And so as, as, as a partner, we were able to, uh, to bring in like seven customers, very different backgrounds, different industries, uh, and it helps SAP uh, kind of prioritize uh, their efforts. Mm -hmm. And you were in talking to all seven of those customers? Yeah, yeah, well, because I'm an ASOC chairman for the managerial accounting, I got access to a lot of people, then all the past projects, and then I asked all the other uh, volunteers to reach out, and, and uh, so, so yeah, with, with all that network effect, we get access to a lot of people, and then then I was able to call them and, and try to convince them to, hey, let's jump in and see see mm -hmm. what you can get out yeah. of it. Okay. So would you um, recommend other associate members to do the same with an ASA? Well, yes, because if you're an uh, uh, affiliate member, well, you also either try to implement or try mm -hmm. to sell one of the applications. So the better the application, the better your success is. So mm -hmm. it, um, it takes... As, as Simon was saying, not, a, not an awful lot of effort. And again, the more you put in there, the better the solution, the better your success in the long term. So everybody mm -hmm. wins. It's a win-win-win for SAP, the partners, and the customers. Yeah. A absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and like, what about your perspective? Like, would you encourage other ASAC members as well to, um, to register for the CI projects and to join any of the opportunities? <laughs> absolutely. I mean, uh, and that's one thing. It's very easy to sit back and, and complain sometimes that things aren't exactly the way you want them, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. right? <laughs> we never do that. No, no one ever does, right? But this is a chance for, for anyone to get in and have your voice heard directly by the people that are developing the solution that you're interested in. Yeah. So why, why wouldn't you want to spend a little time? Yeah. And haven't you already gone to like the next round? Are we have, yeah. So our CEI just renewed. Um, a <laughs> bunch of us signed up to do it again. So we're yeah. looking forward to what's going to come this next time. So the, the stuff we worked on last year is starting to, to trickle out right. yeah. eventually. So once it does, <laughs> we can actually talk about it. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but no, it's, it's exciting to see what's going to come next. So what, what I love as well, is we started to have some, some effects as well. And it's really just started last week. So it's really wow. very, very new for us. Oh, yeah. It's the first, first, uh, first time we do this. But 
we have uh, customers from very different areas, uh, mm -hmm. heavy machinery versus food. Mm -hmm. And now they start talking together because they just happen to have the same quotation problem. Mm. Yep. So, yeah. and, and, and depending on which area, if it's business subjects or any other things, yeah. like us in the controlling area, uh, controlling space, mm -hmm. we are all passionate about the topic. So it's actually not a real effort because we just spend time dreaming about the potential and then <laughs> see, hey, can we yeah. do this or not? It's, it's, yeah. it's really very interesting effort. Right. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay. And we have the next round coming up soon, don't we? Yeah, that's true. So in um, June, we will have the new list of projects available, which will be about to start, so where people can sign up again. Right. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm counting on you. <laughs> we'll be there. You'll be our brand ambassadors. <laughs> sure. Thank you all for joining. Thank you. Thank Much you. pleasure. Uh, it's been a great uh, session. Yeah. Hope thanks for your feedback. Hope some people uh, learned it, uh, got interested in and sign up. <laughs> sign up. Sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up. Right, exactly. It's only a month that we bother you yeah. for. Yeah. Three times a year. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah. this is David.